guys welcome to the channel today we're gonna keep our intro very very quick essentially i have come across this shirt on instagram literally every single day to the point where i can no longer hide from it um and the prices were going for like 60 80 dollars and i was like that's a piece of fabric i can literally make that for way cheaper and i by no means am a professional i'm like very beginner level as you'll see while i'm sewing um so that being said you guys can easily make this top i bought a yard of fabric for twenty dollars and you can make three tops out of it so ten dollars a piece um so yeah without further ado we're gonna learn how to make this shirt let's get into the video all right so we're gonna want to start with our materials you need five which are your fabric scissors sewing thread pins your measuring tape as well as your fabric in terms of fabric, we're going to be using spandex. It's the best for this top because it's very stretchy, so it can fit most body types, and it's a light material, so in the summer, you're not going to feel weighed down. Let's go. So, you want to grab your measuring tape to start off. We're going to be measuring two different parts on your body. First, you want to measure horizontally, so you want to measure through the middle of your chest. Make sure that it's centered. And you're going to grab the end that starts at one inch and make sure that both ends are meeting. So for me, it's going to be 32 and make sure to note down that number. Second, you're going to want to measure the width. So you're going to go from the top of your chest to the bottom. Uh, for me specifically, it was seven inches and no, not like a guy says seven inches, but an actual seven inches. And you're going to double check by measuring both sides. All right, so what do we do with these numbers? We gotta jot them down. So quick maths, you're gonna wanna jot down your width. So I'm seven inches and you're just gonna multiply it by two because you're gonna be folding your fabric in half later. So you wanna make sure that both sides are the actual width of your chest. So seven times two, and then you wanna give yourself an extra inch of seam allowance. Um, so essentially whatever your number is times two plus one. So in my case, seven inches times two is 14 plus one inch seam allowance for when you're gonna be pinning it together and sewing equals 15 inches for your width. So now we're gonna apply those numbers to the actual material itself. So again, my number is 15. So here I'm just measuring out 15 on the fabric and then you're gonna take your fabric marker or even a pencil, something that won't leave a mark on your clothing after the fact and just mark your place. Now you're gonna fold your fabric to the point where you marked your line and then you're just going to fold your fabric the entire length it's not shown on screen because it's really long but yeah make sure to fold it all the way through and make sure that it's even now the best part very satisfying when you do it we're going to cut it so just cut all the way down And now you're gonna cut the other side. So essentially you're gonna be left with two pieces of fabric, which you're then gonna sew together to make sure that your top is extra long, but still maintains that seven inches of width. Honestly, watching this sped up reminds me of ASMR. It's a great time. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna pin both ends together. It doesn't matter which end that you have, um, but you're gonna overlap the pieces to give yourself about an inch and a half to an inch of seam allowance. Here, I did it a little bit less just because I feel a little bit more comfortable with sewing. But yeah, so just overlap your pieces and then pin from the bottom to the top, and you're just gonna repeat that process. And this is what it should look like in the end. So now you're gonna plug in all your outlets, uno, dos, e tres, and your machine should turn on. This is a quick little montage of me just adding the threads that you have into the machine. If you don't know how to do this, I can always post a tutorial, so let me know in the comments if you want me to do that. It's very simple once you learn it, but definitely frustrating at first. So in terms of the type of stitch you want to be using, for spandex, it's best to use a zigzag stitch. So for my machine, that's the letter C. And when you put the fabric under the machine, make sure that the foot is down. Make sure that you're holding the material firmly so it doesn't move out of place. And next thing you know, you just have to press the pedal. Make sure that you're taking out the pins as you go so that way you don't break the needle. Okay. 
and honestly just keep readjusting as you go it's okay to mess up my mom laughed at me for a solid three minutes when i showed her this footage because of how frequently i kept letting go of the fabric and she's like you look so amateur you're really gonna post this and i was like bet i'll put some music over top and it'll look elite All right, just make sure to cut off the end and then this is how your material should look. Just a simple zigzag stitch on both pieces so they're sewed together. And for the most important part, I'm gonna show you to actually wrap it. There will be an actual try on at the end of the video to show you how it looks like without the bandeau underneath, but this is just to make sure that there are no nip slips happening. So yeah, just uh, fold over both pieces on opposite ends of your shoulder. And then when it comes to the back part there, you're just gonna do a simple crisscross. So just grab each side and then cross it over. Then you're just gonna wrap it around the front and back and just tie a simple little bow to keep it holding the girls in place. So for number two, it's gonna be a knot in the middle. So you're just gonna wrap it around once, pull it really tight to make sure it's secure. And then you're gonna do another loop over to create a knot. This is literally like tying a knot that you do on any other piece of fabric. Now you just put both pieces as your straps over top. And for the back, it's gonna be more simple. You're just gonna loop it underneath your arms and do the same crisscross that you did on the previous shirt. This one is honestly one of my favorite ways to wear it. It's such an elegant way to wear the top. All right, and for our final way of how to do this, it's similar to a combination of the first and second. You're just gonna wrap it twice around. So there's no knot this time. Make sure that it's fitting over the girls, of course. And you can decide if you wanna do a crisscross back or if you wanna do the straight under. I find when you do the under your armpits, the more elegant feel versus crisscross is more like street wear, but that's just my opinion. All right, and here's the try on. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. All right. If you guys made it to the end of the video, very, very proud of you. Um, if you end up making the top, I actually want to see what it looks like on every single one of you. I would feel like a mother, just like seeing her children and her babies thrive. Um, so here's my Instagram. Make sure to tag me if you make it. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.